Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Schrader. Today we're going to talk about our next unit in uh, science, and it's a unit about matter. Um, today we're going to talk about the first lesson in that, and it's just really talking about some basic things about matter. We need to uh, do some vocabulary. Uh, we'll talk about matter and mass, solids, liquids, and gases. And we'll also talk about a property called buoyancy. Uh, the objectives today that we want to achieve is that we want to explore how to identify matter. We want to be able to describe matter and define what matter is. Um, and we'll talk about the three states of matter. So let's get started. Matter, its definition is anything that takes up space, has mass, and properties. Um, basically, matter is all around you. Anything that's around you that takes up space... Uh, is, is matter. It's the stuff all around you. Um, I think about things like cars and tables and TVs and iPods and cats and robots. Uh, they're all made up of matter. Um, it's not, it, they're physical things. Um, and the definition is that it's anything that takes up space, has mass, and properties you can observe and describe. Uh, so in these cases, it's uh, it, they have mass, they're taking up some sort of physical space, and we could describe each of these things. Um, and the properties that you can observe and describe, uh, those are characteristics. Uh, it's something that you can uh, you can observe. So for example, um, you could see its color. You could feel its texture, you could see its shape, is it cone, is it square, uh, is it big, little, is it uh, hard or soft, does it smell a specific way, like sweet or salty, uh, is it uh, hot or cold, does, it, uh, does a magnet attract to it, um, if I were to put it in a liquid, would it melt or dissolve? Um, and is a buoyant. Buoyant's an interesting one that we need to talk about. Buoyancy is um, the upward force of water or air on an object. Uh, it's things that it's it's the way that things are kept afloat. Um, so, for example, this picture here, we've got the swimmer is kept afloat due to buoyancy. Uh, fish are buoyant. Um, corks are buoyant. Uh, it's also uh, it's also about air. So a balloon floats in the air due to buoyancy. Now matter, uh, as part of its definition, is that it has mass, and mass is the amount of actual matter making up an object. Um, and we think about it sort of in terms of weight, um, but it's it's not the same. We'll talk about the difference between those later. But uh, it's the amount of matter it, that makes up an object. Uh, we use a specific tool to measure mass, and it's called a balance scale. Um, we've seen these before. This is a pan balance scale. Uh, what happens is with mass, we also measure it using uh, kilograms. Uh, if it's a really small object, we may, use, we may just use smaller grams. But the way it works is on one side of the balance I put my object and the other I put a known mass. So in this case I've got an apple and I know that each of these equal a kilogram. Uh, and when the balance is even and it's not lopsided one way or the other that's uh, when I know I figured it out. So this apple in this case is three kilograms. When we talk about matter, we talk about it in three different states. The first of them is a solid. Uh, a solid is a form of matter that has a definite shape and takes up a definite amount of space. Um, its particles are packed really tightly. Um, uh, examples would be a brick, a textbook, a tabletop. Those are solids. The next is a liquid. And this is a, a form of matter that takes up a definite amount of space and has a definite shape. Uh, it has no definite shape, I'm sorry. Uh, liquids take the shape of their container. 
so in this case, the liquid I have here is in the glass. If I were to put it in a pitcher, it would be uh, the shape of that pitcher. If I were to pour it in a sink, it would take the shape of the sink. The liquids don't have their own shape. They can't hold their own shape like a, a solid can. Um, but it still takes up a specific amount of space. The last form of matter is called a gas. And this is a form that does not take up a definite amount of space and has no definite shape. Uh, like a liquid, it takes the shape of its container. Uh, in the case of a balloon, I put helium inside this balloon and it expands to that shape. If I pop the balloon, the, the gas inside of it will go all different directions into the air. So um, it doesn't take up a definite amount of space. So today what we've talked about is the three states of matter. We've talked about the definition of matter and the definition of mass. Thanks, guys.